Hello and welcome to Gabriel's 3D Printing. Today we will be looking at this modern vase uploaded by Cubatronics. So first things first, we go down to the developer notes, see if they have any specifications. And they say, no rafts, no supports, and a resolution of 0.2 millimeters. Now, there's two different vases that they included. There's a 3 millimeter thickness vase and a solid vase, uh, which uses vase mode. If you want to print it as a vase now once you're once you read all this go up here to the download all files and click on that and you should get a folder similar to this now if you don't have vase mode on your slicer which if you have cura you do but if you don't have vase mode you can simply print the regular vase stl which is the top one and like the developer said it has a uniform three millimeter thickness but for this project we're going to use vase mode which basically makes our print maybe 10 times faster and prints it basically very thin but still sturdy and stiff so uh what we're gonna do is we're gonna grab the vase solid stl click and hold on that and drag it to your preferred slicer of choice give it a few seconds to render in once it's finished loading you should see this little vase and it's completely solid but don't be scared we will print it as a vase using some of the settings on cura so first we're going to select the layer height and the developer recommended a layer height of 0.2 millimeters so i'm going to click on that you can use whatever layer height you want but i'm going to stick with 0.2 millimeters and next we're going to go to the supports tab the developer said no supports so we're going to make sure that this is unchecked Build plate adhesion, developer also said there is no need for build plate adhesion, but if you do have poor adhesion, then you should add a brim by clicking on this and brim. Um, with me, I don't have too much issues, so I will not add any build plate adhesion. Afterwards, we're going to actually hollow this out. In order to do that, you're going to have to search for a setting called spiralize. And it says right here, spiralize outer contour. And we're going to click check on that. Smooth spiralized contours might also pop up, so make sure that's checked as well. And if you don't have any of this, if this is not popping up, click on the gear tab here. And just search up the setting that's not showing up. And then make sure they're checked, and then they should pop up in your menu now. But make sure that's checked. And what that's basically going to do, it's going to make this completely hollow so you're gonna have literally one layer thickness so 0 0.2 millimeter layer thickness now you might be thinking this is probably gonna break with a single touch but no it's, it's pretty stiff uh, you can squish it a little but but it is stiff and and rugged and you'll see in the actual uh, showcase of the video and this also makes you print these models like 20 times faster basically with other vases, I, there's there's another vase that I printed in regular mode, small thickness. I believe like it was like one millimeter. That took me 11, 12 hours. But with this uh, spiralized outer contour, it took me only like two or three hours. So that's always neat. So like I said, enable that, and then we're gonna go and go ahead and click on the slice button, and give it a few seconds to render up. Once it's finished slicing, you should be given a time estimate of roughly three hours and 24 minutes. But that will depend on the printer you're using as well as the setting you selected as well as a estimated filament usage of 26 grams now you always preview the print and take a look around to see if anything weird or funky is going on and everything looks perfectly normal now with this spiralized contour mode you may have a little bit of uh gaps going on so you might be able to see through it but that's more than fine you should be uh more than more than safe with that now if you wanted to add plants or something in here or a liquid then water would definitely leak out but take a look at the showcase and see what you think i said there's not gonna be any big holes or anything but light will definitely pass through it uh once you're ready just save the file and send it over to your printer
here's the model off the build plate. It's roughly 15 centimeters tall and needs no further post processing. Everything came out pretty good with no apparent defects. Considering this was only a single layer, you may be able to see through it and there might be some small little gaps, but that shouldn't matter too much as you can shove whatever you want inside of it, such as pencils, sticks, etc. Even though it's a single layer, it is pretty stiff and hard considering it is plastic, but you can still squish it as you can see later on in the video. So do be gentle and don't throw it around too much, I guess, if you do want to keep it as an art piece. In the end, it's a pretty quick and easy print and I definitely recommend it for anybody who wants one.